Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today I'm with Richard from Stealth Hitches and we're going to be taking a look at the Stealth Hitch option uh, for a trailer hitch on your vehicle. Now these fit a very cool pocket in the market where sometimes you want to add a hitch to your vehicle but you don't want that receiver tube opening kind of taken away from uh, the look of your vehicle. And this is where it really falls into with a lot of luxury and high-end vehicles that you guys have offerings for. And the fact that you can remove this what exactly, how does that work for someone if they have this hitch on their vehicle? That's the neat thing about it is, is it has detachable parts, so you can remove them when not in use. So we have uh, a couple of different versions. We have what we call the rack-only version, where a customer is just looking for bike racks, luggage racks, ski racks, and then we have a rack receiver that is removable. You, you insert it when you want to use it, and when you don't want to use it, you want to remove it, you unlock it, turn the handle, and it pops right out. So it's really handy. So most times when you get a hitch, you're going to have the fascia that's going to be sitting here and your receiver tube's always going to be visible. Some of them look pretty good. You have hitting cross tubes. Some of them you can see the entire hitch. But the great part with the stealth hitch is when you're not using your bike rack, cargo carrier, or anything along those lines, this completely removes. And how does that work, Richard? Well, it's really pretty easy. All you have to do is you reach up underneath. You're going to insert the key. You'll turn it. It will pop out. Once it's out, you'll hold this. Turn this handle, and it's gone. And again, as I mentioned, the fascia is here. So when that's gone, you can't see anything. It doesn't even look like there's a hitch there. It's completely hidden. Some would say it's stealthy. Um, Absolutely, and that's what customers really like about our hitches is basically when it's not in use, you can't tell there's a hitch on the car. And that's something we see here that there's an X6M, and we've actually put on quite a few stealth hitches here, and a lot of them are going to be your Audis, uh, your Lexus, your... BMW, some of the higher end vehicles, and, and that's the thing is adding a trailer hitch receiver to something that's sporty and luxury, it does take away from the look, and this gives you all the use of a hitch, but also the clean look of being stealthy. Absolutely. That's what, that's what our customers love. You know, like you said, Alfa Romeo, Mercedes, BMW, these high end cars, people like the way they look, and they want to keep that look as much as they can, so they really gravitate towards our hitch because they get that full functionality but yet they don't have that look when they're not using the hitch. So you can maintain that clean look on your luxury or sporty vehicle, but again, if you want to use a bike rack, you still need your car to be able to do stuff. So when you're ready to put the receiver opening in place, how does that work? It's actually pretty simple. You just basically line it up underneath there, insert it, you'll hear it click in place. You always want to lock it. Locking it confirms it's in completely and correctly, and it adds a second level, preventing it from coming out. So you, and it also is a theft deterrent. So you always want to lock it. And once you do that, basically it's there. And what's really nice too is there's a, a lot of little features too that really make it a lot better is you have that key to be able to unlock it. No one's going to walk away with that. But you also have rubber cap here to keep anything from building up in that tumbler. Same thing, there's a cap that goes on the bottom side. So that way when you are ready to put that receiver in place, it's not going to be all gummed up. It's protected while you're still being stealth. So we have our two inch receiver here, we have our ball mount. Now I see an inch and a quarter, is that's available to drop into all the rack receiver kits as well? Correct, our uh, standard kit comes with a two inch, but you can substitute the inch and a quarter, or you can buy a separate inch and a quarter. We have some people who have both because they have a, a luggage rack with two inch and they have a bike rack with inch and a quarter, so they can swap them back and forth. Other people say, I'd rather just have the inch and a quarter, you can work that through as well. So yeah, it gives you more options to do different things. Now on this two inch receiver, I see it says not for towing. So I would assume you can't put a ball mount on something like this. So how does someone go about towing with a stealth hitch? That's correct. You can't tow with this, even though it looks like your ordinary hitch. You know, it's just because of the way it's attached that it's not really structurally strong enough or tested for towing. So we have a different solution for that. You know, when we come over here, we have a ball mount. So it's gonna insert the exact same way, lock the same way, everything's the same. It's just one substitutes for the other. And this is used for towing. Plenty strong enough for towing, you won't have any issues. And if you're planning on towing a trailer, you're going to need wiring, correct? That is correct. And we have two versions of that. We have some of them, depending on the car. We have four-way and seven-way. The four-way is kind of a neat little thing where we have it. It'll hang down when you're using it. It has an earth magnet on it. It's very strong. You attach it to the beam. It stays there. It doesn't drag on the ground. doesn't show. Everybody loves that. And even the seven ways, I've done quite a few installs on these, and the bracket mounts up 
to where you have your seven way facing down. And that again, keeps that stealthy look. So it's gonna be in the same pocket as the receiver block, but it's all hidden. You can still gain access to it nice and easily. So again, to be able to, uh, you know, tow a trailer with a completely hidden hitch when not doing it, but have a ball mount and wiring ready to go, that makes it really easy. You get the best of all worlds. Absolutely, that's exactly what everybody loves about our hitch. You get the best of both worlds. You move it, can't tell it's there. You can tow like any other hitch as far as performance goes, not a problem. Now, if you pick up that towing kit, you're also gonna get these brackets that have your safety chain loop, so you'll be all set up to be able to hook up your trailer. Now, Richard, if I just went with just the rack receiver kit, I had a bike rack, and then I realized, you know what, I do wanna pull a trailer. Uh, am I kinda stuck with this, or can I still tow a trailer? Can I change it up to be able to make that happen? Not a problem, we have a conversion kit. You can buy the rack only package and add a conversion kit later, or you can combine the two as a, what we call a combo kit and get it from the get-go. The only difference is you're adding the parts. You're not taking away any parts. You're not substituting any parts. You're just adding parts. Now, you need to be mindful of the fact that you may have to do another install if you add it later. So if you think you're going to tow, you might want to go ahead and do that up front. But if there's a really low chance of towing, you at least have the option later to come back and add it without really being any additional cost hardware mm -hmm. as far as adding it. But uh, you will have to deal with the installation. And that's it. I've done plenty of these installs and dealing with high end vehicles, they're put together very, very well. Uh, and that generally with the install, you do have to pull some stuff off. And as well as they're put together, it's equally, uh, it, it can be difficult to uh, get that fascia off to get these installed. But I will say the instructions that you guys have are incredible. They are step by step, their color. And really, if you follow it, it's going to be a great way to get your hitch installed. Appreciate that. Yeah, we, we take pride in our installation instructions. We're always looking for updates. So feedback from customers, feedback from you guys mm -hmm. helps us update ours and be more accurate as we go through. Because we do have a, a fair number of DIYers out there, and we want to try and cater to them as well as installers and other things like that. When that being said, too, if uh, your vehicle falls into a category that we've done an install on, uh, you can take a look at our install videos to get yours installed. And if it's beyond your scope to be able to do that, we have our certified network of installers that you can utilize. That way you can get your hitch installed and get that nice, clean stealth look on your high-end vehicle. Huge thanks to Richard for kind of breaking this down for, for us and giving us a good look at stealth hitches. Thank you.